And we back! Last year we did a video where I traded for the top 10 players in NBA 2K23. It took me hours, but we were successful. We're trying it again, but instead of it being just current players, we're talking about all time. I got a trade for LeBron and Michael Jordan, plus eight other players. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let, let's get into this, man. It's gonna take us some time, but I'm trying to be successful again. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh delivers step-by-step -step recipes and pre-proportioned ingredients right to your doorstep. HelloFresh has meals covered with a weekly selection of 30 plus recipes and 70 plus convenience items all delivered to your doorstep. It effortlessly saves time, money, and stress. The fall season can be busy, but weeknights can be made much easier with foolproof step-by-step -step recipes ready in around 30 minutes or less. HelloFresh cuts down your food waste by 25% compared to grocery shopping. HelloFresh just came through. Let's see what these recipes are. Sweet ginger pork chops, sound good. And Turkish spiced chicken with apricot pan sauce. Personally, I hate grocery shopping. I feel like I'm spending too much time in these stores and I still walk out and I forgot the most important ingredient. Not anymore with HelloFresh. I'm no pro in the kitchen, but with HelloFresh, I am. So what I need from you is to go to HelloFresh.com and use code Kenny65 for 65% off plus free shipping. So we found a roster, um, ignore this, but we found a roster that says it has the top players, fantasy draft, all NBA legends. There is no salary cap in today's video. We're running with the 76ers. That is our starting point. There's no salary cap whatsoever. What number pick do we have? I cannot make this up. We have the 25th pick. It would have been dope to already start with one of these top players, but we don't have that luxury. So we're starting off with Walt Frazier, a John Havlicek, Kevin Love, and not the greatest team to start off with for sure. So how do we determine, oh my God, it's this many 99s. How do we determine who the top 10 players of all time strictly going off overall? And we're gonna do it in this order. So there might be players that might have a tied overall. We're just going top 10 based on what we see it right now. So it's Kareem, MJ, LeBron, Hakeem Olajuwon, Dirk, Larry Bird, Tim Duncan, KG, Shaq, and Kobe. No point guards, no magic. Magic would have been next, but no point guards whatsoever. These are the top 10 players we're gonna be trying to trade for in today's video. So I have a, a strategy. I've been thinking about this since it was suggested in the comment section, shout out to y'all. It was also suggested in the link in the top of the description where you can suggest a bunch of different videos. So I've been thinking about it this way. Because this is a long time fantasy draft, oh, there's no salary cap or anything like that. I can just go pick up Chet. And free agency and he's gonna have some crazy trade value because bro was just the second overall pick right second last season and you know we continue to do that like come on james wiseman the second overall pick too okay we don't have the spot for him but like we're gonna continue to do that our own personal first round picks are they gonna be valuable the answer is not really it's not not valueless but not very valuable so i'm gonna start off in this video by just going to every team that has a top 10 player and doing this we can get Kareem right now, which will be dope. Okay, that's that could be one. That's a 99 we could get off rip. Again, no untouchables, no salary cap. We could go get Br um, um, MJ right now. It's going to take potentially our two top players. But we could go get MJ right now, potentially. Hakeem Olajuwon's on this list, right? Yep. So we can low-key start off this video amazingly by getting one of the top guys. I want to get one of the 99 overalls first. Le they say, hey, LeBron only 23. It ain't nothing you got on your roster that pleases us. And I understand. I mean, he's 23-year-old and a 99 overall. Come on, now. I wouldn't trade him either. But okay, we'll start off by getting MJ, I think. Because Kareem is only 24 in this sim. MJ's 26. Oh, my God. All right, so let's see. They want Walt Davis and John Havlicek. And look, we keep all of our first-round picks in this one. That is a very, very easy trade. Cool. We're going to go back to talk to Kareem and them. And figure out if they would still potentially do a trade without asking us for Michael Jeffrey Jordan. You know, 99 overall. We could get out of there without giving up Michael Jeffrey Jordan. We will. Okay, so we got two 99s right off rip. Low kick a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But hey, we will take every single W we could get. Can we get Cole? The answer is no. Okay, now we get to the point where they're like, hey, give us a 99. And give me, give me one of your untouchable dudes. And obviously... We not, we not going down that alley. But again, I'm going to go trade finder for all of the dudes. And I mean, it might be a team that's like, hey, we be willing to do it. And now we got MJ. They say, hey, we can make a deal. MJ for Braun. The answer to that is a very, very simple no. Tim Duncan was on the list, right? He sure was. Let's go try to get Tim Duncan without giving up one of our top two dudes. Let's see if it's even possible. So we got Kevin Love, who's super valuable. 
we gonna have we're gonna have Chet, who's only three star. Yikes! I mean, that's really good. In any other video, I'd be like, yes, three star Chet. But in a video like this, that's not very good. We also give you George McGinnis. You give us back your worst player, and your worst player is Serge Bach. Okay. All right, they're a championship quality team. No, that is the worst thing we can see right now. I'm hoping that the remaining eight teams don't think they're a championship quality because that's that's the kiss of death. You're, you're more likely than not, not going to have somebody accept the trade if they think they're a championship contender. Now I got to go see if every one of our teams is on a champion or one of our players are on a championship contending team. Okay, Akeem Elijah is not on the championship team. They're a buying team, so it's still going to be difficult. But we could try to go get Kareem now. I'm sorry, Hakeem now. Hey, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to be messing that up all of this video. I'm going to say Kareem when I mean Kareem, when I mean Hakeem, it's just the nature of, of what I have. And what I have is not good when you have one on one actual letter that separates the players. You know what I'm saying? Okay, in this trade, I'll also give you George McGinnis, who's also a four-star value. You can give us back Bojan Bogdanovic. Hey, this is an NBA legend draft, and Bojan Bogdanovic got picked up. Think about it like that. Bojan is, is, is actually that nice. This season, have y'all been watching that, man? He cannot miss right now. You know who can miss? Me. Because they don't want they don't want my what I'm trying to give them. So what we're going to do is try to trade these two players in a future first to go get an extra 90 to throw. Now we're about to start doing the layering process of these rebuilding challenges. I feel pretty good about getting the Iceman, George, Gervin, and a first round pick that's two and a half star value. I'm just, I'm just saying that pick is the most valuable thing we have in our pick cabinet, if you want to call it that. So, you know, I'm going to throw these in the trade finder. I see way, I see a lot of 97s, but we're not here for 97s. We're here for a specific number of 98s. And Giannis is here. Sheesh. Giannis is there. You know what I'm thinking? Let me take away this first round pick first. I think we can get a 97 and flip that 97 for a 98. Boom. Just like that. We got Julius Irvin. Okay. So now we go back to talk to the Lakers. I mean, we're talking about a one overall difference between Hakeem Olajuwon and Julius Irvin. They say no, but that means that we can do this. We can, wait, you say we can your center position? I'm giving you chat who's the future of the league. I'm giving you chat. I'll also give you DeAndre Jordan since you care about your center position that much. You give us back Bogdanovich. They're still not interested. That's okay because that's why we got this Kings pick. And then that's why we got this all, this other pick. Boom! Three players down. We got two of the best centers of all time. I said it was a one difference between the letters. There's two different letters. You get me. And then Michael Jordan. We got three out of our ten. Seven more to go. And now that we, we trade an extra player, I could go back to free agency and be like, hey, um, Anthony Simons, who's a 23-year-old that's an 80 overall. Or hey, okay, a lot of the other guys got picked up. I mean, I'm, I'm looking down here. I mean, uh, th these are still really good players that's going to hold value. But I thought like maybe Palo was down here. But I'm taking Yaka Kongwu for $29 million in a world where money don't exist, basically. Okay, so now we I want to try something crazy like doing one, two, and three players like this and see what comes of it. You know, because we're all about experiments. And like, come on, man, this is a crazy trade. We get a 95 and a 93. Or we could get Giannis and they just want a second. What? Finesse, take the second away. Okay. They're, oh, they think they're a championship team. Actually, let's go back and just accept that trade before they change their mind, bro. Because once they start talking about championship quality team, there is no looking back. So I saw, there it is. You can have your second round pick. I don't, you know, I don't care about that. A second? So we're going to do TJ. Nope. Nope. That is not a TJ. That's, that's TS. Tim Sr. Alvin Adams, who I don't know a thing about. And then Anthony Simons. You know, let's keep doing these three-player deals because right now I feel like the three-player deal, it feels like the three-player deal is the way to go. I thought that this was going to be more difficult than the last one. Um, I was wrong. And it, it kind of makes sense, though, because there are so many different players that are so close and overall. They're like, look at this. We're going to be able to get um LeBron. Watch. Trey finally going to have LeBron. Or not. Okay, but we got Dirk. Was Dirk on my list? Dirk had to be on the list, right? He absolutely was. Okay, Dirk is there. Was Larry Bird on my list? He absolutely was. Okay, was KG and Shaq on my list? They absolutely were. They, oh my God, they're all here. They're all here. Because, I mean, we're talking Giannis. And, <laughs> but I think if we're going to do this trade, we have to get LeBron. I think we have to go get LeBron with this 95-97. You know, because I feel like those 98s will be there with a similar package. But with LeBron, you saw it. He's a 23-year-old, 99 overall player. That guy is setting your future up for the next decade if you don't decide to go to South Beach. So here we go. It is Giannis. It is Kidd. 
Oh, snap. We, this is easy. We could have speed ran this one. We could have speed ran this one, y'all. I ain't have to throw no picks to get 399s, bro. We still have almost all of our picks. We gave up a second to get Giannis, and they were like, yep, that's that's the piece we needed. Okay. All right. Well, hey, I'll take an easy challenge, ladies and gentlemen. It, it wasn't projected to be easy, but now that we here doing it, yeah, it, it is. <laughs> Instead, like a second to get Jerry Lucas and Shea. Yeah, we're gonna do the Shea and Gary, uh, Gary Jerry Lucas one. Then we can go back to free agency and be like, hey, I mean, you might not be young, but Freddie's an 83 overall player. I'm sure that holds some value. Gary Trent Jr., flamethrower, that holds value. Everybody wants a, a player that can shoot. And then Cole Anthony, boom. We just added three extra young players to add to different trades because they basically, in my opinion, I think those boys basically counting as extra first round picks, you know? Because. We're talking about Cole Anthony, who was the 15th. I forgot he was kind of late in the draft. I remember him falling a little bit. But these are players that hold value. So I'm going to go get uh, Dolph Shays and Fat Lever. Um, 94 and 92. We threw a first-round pick in there, which I don't love. But it will be worth it once we do this. I don't need to give up all three to get the next player, do I? No, there's no way. Yeah, yeah. and no, nothing's even coming up. Oh, that's a little scary. Let me throw a pick on top of that. Because that, that is the way you get teams to be interested. That's how you get teams to pick up the phone. Okay, we could get Wade. Wade not on my list, but when you pair him with George Mikan, can I get out of there without giving y'all that pick? They want PJ Brown. Cool, we'll take the pick. We'll keep the pick. We'll keep the pick. So now we got Wade and George Mikan, Illinois legend. Born in Joliet, I want to say. I feel like it's Joliet. I think I've told this story before, but I was just driving around a random city because I was trying to find a specific so store. And George Mikan had his own statue in that city. And I think it was... I think it was Joliet, Illinois. Let's go try to get the bean. Rest in peace to the Mamba. All right. I mean, am I going to complain because my video is fun and easy? Absolutely not. So right now we got five out of our 10. We're halfway there. And honestly, the formula is, is doing numbers. We still got picks. Like, it doesn't make sense for us to still have picks. But here we are. Here's KG. There's Shaq. Both of these players I need to end up with eventually. I'm going to trade for Derrick Rose, even though I'm going to have to flip him eventually. I ended up getting back uh, Giannis because he keeps popping up in my trade find. Because, I mean, I mean, if he's going to be there, you know I got to pick him up because he's a 97 overall. So now I got D. Rose. I got Jeremy Grant. And I got Jeremy Sohan, who are going to go together and get me something nice. Ooh, like, like we could get Chris Paul. You know what I'm saying? We could get Chris Paul, who we love, as you know. So we're going to do that, throw in the second round pick. Boom, that's a 97 overall. Let's let's see how fast we can get our next player. So we got Fred Brown. We got uh, Sean Bradley. We need somebody that's going to be 90 overall club. Boom, don't even got to think twice. There's Chauncey Billups. Now we go straight into free agency and just pick up the highest overall player, Avery Johnson, D'Angelo Russell, Marcus Smart, defensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year just sitting in free agency. Greg Anthony. We already traded your son earlier in the video. Now we got Greg on the team. And now we're going to take those three players that we just picked up. Uh, th these three, who is it? Greg, Marcus, D'Angelo. Oh, we picked the four. And we throw them into the trade finder. Boom. We get an 86 Reggie Diaz. Or I don't want to give up a first round pick just right now. So a, a 88 would be dope if we don't have to throw up a pick. There it is. Tom Gugliotta, one of the most fun names in the history of basketball to say. Gugliotta. Come on, bro. So we got Chauncey Billups. We got Chris Paul. First round pick might be able to get us the next player that we need. There is Magic, who wasn't on our list. But there's Shaq who was on our list. Boom. That's how fast we just flipped into another one of the players. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we need three more. So Dirk, Larry Bird, and Tim Duncan. Those are the last three to get. Bro, it's so crazy how fast we just turned this challenge. I, ain't, I thought this was about to be one of the ones that we filmed. Bro, I got snacks. I got drinks because I thought we was going to be here for hours and hours. But instead, bro, it's been like 25 minutes. Not even. Not even. Oh, man. We, we really speed ran this one, didn't we? Yo, you know what I just thought about? The next part of this challenge is seeing if we can go 82 and 0. Right? It's seeing if we can go 82 and 0. I mean, yeah, we're going to be going against other competition of the greatest of all time. So that's for sure. But we, if we have the top 10 players in the history of the NBA, according to 2K in this video, ain't no way. Now, we don't have any point guards. We don't have any, any point guard play from the top 10. But we got Braun. You know, we got Braun, who's a point guard. In my opinion, he can't. Well, he can be. He can be. We know he can be. He's, he's LeBron. He's LeBron. Elgin Baylor and Dennis Johnson are the next two to come onto the team. And now we do Elgin, Dennis, and boom, Mo Bamba. Mo Bamba, the missing piece to get us the missing piece of Larry a Legend. All right, so we're down to the last two players. We got Kyrie as a trade piece with Kyle Sexton and Larry Marketing. And yeah, man, if you if you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to leave it a like, man. It helps the channel out a ton. 
I was telling people on Twitter that now that I'm back home and I don't have any more travel, because if you didn't know, I've been on the road like crazy over the last two weeks and that's why the video's been kind of hit or miss um, in the release times. Now that I'm back at home, we're going overdrive. Like I'm trying to upload on this channel every single every single weekday. I'm trying to upload on my NBA Strictly channel, which is always in the description, every day, including weekends, because the NBA never stops. That's the plan. I, I, listen, I can't make no promises right now, but that's the plan. And then also on um, my Kenny 2, which is also NBA oriented, quizzes and stuff like that. Get it back down to the roots. So if you've been in here for a long time, you go gotta go check out Kenny 2. The grind is starting and um, I'm ready. That's all I'm saying. I'm ready. So right now we have Gary Payton, Sydney, and Sydney Moncrief, and the pick, our very last pick. We're looking to get who is it? Tim Duncan. Where's Tim Duncan at? Where that 98 overall Timmy D? He is not popping up in the trade finder. We gotta find what team he is. He's on. Duncan plays for the Nuggets. Okay, so let's go talk to the Nuggets about our boy Tim Duncan. I know if we did reverse trade finder, they're gonna be like, hey, give us one of your top guys. And we gonna hang up the phone and say, hey, you want the other guy? Like, yeah, you want Mike, you want Kareem, Hakeem, and yeah, you bug him. I understand though, Tim Duncan is one of the greatest ever do it. That's why he's even incorporated in this video. He's one of my favorite of all time too, but I will not sacrifice one of my great players. So I'm gonna go Paolo, I'm gonna go Moncrief and Tuan. That, yeah, there's T-Mac. That's what I'm talking about. There's Luka they wanna pick. We'll go Vince Carter and Bill Sharman. Both players, all NBA 75 if I'm not mistaken. And now we got 396 in the 95 and the 92. You can't tell me that ain't good enough. There's Dirk, we need a Dirk. Hey, now the last piece is Tim Duncan, right? We ain't got a ton left. You know what I'm saying? We don't got a ton left, but this is what we do. This is this is why we get paid the bucks that we get paid as a general manager. We are gonna turn David Wesley and Hassan Whiteside to Tim Duncan. That's basically what we are doing right now. This is my last first round pick and I'm using it to get Danny Granger and Sleepy Floyd, right? So that's 88, 88, 84, and we got Westbrook, who I'm definitely gonna throw into that that last trade to get Tim Duncan. Um, but I need multiple, multiple more 90 overall players because these are the last trades of the video. So there's James Worthy, man, big game James Worthy. Come on, man, 95 overall. We also got Nikola Jovic and these dudes, and hopefully we could get a near 90. There, there's a near 90, but maybe we could get an actual 90. Now that I see, we could get a near one. We can't. Ralph Sampson, welcome to the team. So right now we got Ralph Sampson. We got Russell Westbrook and who else? And James Worthy. I mean, I don't think that's gonna be enough, but I'd be crazy not to at least try right now, especially since we don't have any first round picks. So they might look at us like we crazy. You could give us back HB. You could give us back Sir to, no, you're a championship quality team, bro. Y'all crazy. Okay, all right, all right. Listen, we knew we signed up for it. We knew we signed up for it when we started this challenge. Them championship worthy teams, I swear they not, they don't budge often. We gotta sweeten the pot even more. So I'm gonna throw James Worthy and Ralph together. We get Dwayne Wade. That's a 97, by the way. You know, so Wayne West Wade Westbrook and Coos? I don't know. No, not at all. And Gordon Hayward, I guess. Dang, that could have been it. Will Chamberlain, but that's not the guy we're looking for. We're looking for Tim Duncan, and he's not popping up. So you know what? We're gonna do Westbrook, Hayward, Whiteside. Not that big of a difference, but we got Koozie on the team. So Wade and Koozie, come on, bro. You can't tell me there's Bill Russell. We, we're not looking for Bill Russell. We're looking for a very specific player, Tim Duncan, and we got Tony Parker in that trade too. Boom, that is the top 10 players of all time. Let's go through it again. We got MJ, we got Kareem, we got LeBron, we got Dirk, Hakeem, Kobe, KG, Shaq, Larry Bird, and Tim Duncan. And we also got Tony Parker. I said we didn't have point guard play. We kind of do right now. And just like that, I'm still starting Bron at the one though. And just like that, we've traded for the top 10 players in NBA 2K23. Will we go undefeated? That is the next, actually, let me, let me do this the right way. I know we 2-0 right now. Let me do this the right way. I'm going to fire Doc Rivers. Shout out to him. Um, he's pretty good in the game, 2K at least. And we got a, a perfect coach, the perfect coach, right? We're going to do a 10-man rotation, the 10 greatest players of all time. We're going to put LeBron back at the one. You know what, Tony Parker, you can't get minutes. You're not. This video is not about you. You can't tell me Kobe's about to be a reserve. Like, what, what is going on in this universe? Now, give Kobe minutes. All right. We got the best coach in the game, which is Michael Stafford. And so far through three weeks, we are unbeatable. And and then we, then we lost to the Jazz. Dang. Uh, lost by one to, to, to 
feel, 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 right? Yeah, okay. So I knew the first name. To feel to Stephen Curry, who shot lights out, did not miss a single shot in this game. Dwight Howard. Lonzo Ball? LaMelo Ball. Okay. Kevin McHale. M I thought that was going to be magic. Okay. Yeah, we shouldn't have. We shouldn't have lost, obviously. Who let us down? MJ? 29 minutes? Five turnovers in 29 minutes? And you shot, uh, what's that percentage? Bad? From the field? Yeah, that's not, that's not you, MJ. Oh, two back-to-back -back losses. We're not built for the, for the regular season, I guess. They got Ja, Carmelo, and T-Mac. Oh, my God. That team is kind of fun to watch, right? That's one of the most fun teams in basketball. Ja, T-Mac, and Melo? Come on, man. The isolation possesses alone making them crazy. But, okay. We're not going 82-0, as you see. Uh, are we going to be the best team? Are the Warriors 73 and 9 going to be better than our team? That's that's what we're fighting for right now. Wild. The MVP of the entire league. We talked about the greatest players in the history of basketball all under one organization. And the MVP went to No Chill Gill. That is crazy. Shout out to Gilbert Arenas, I guess, bro. He did his thing. Um, Bill Russell, we won 65 games. We weren't even close. Again, our competition that we're going against are also 90 plus overall players, but still, I mean, we got the 10 greatest of all time on our team. And right now, that's not even a guarantee that we are gonna win the championship. We've seen teams lose this amount of games and still lose in the playoffs. Like, okay, we got there, that's fun. We're there, go against the Lakers. Okay, let's see who's on this Lakers team. Penny, Allen Houston, Julius Irvin, Elton Brand, and DeAndre Jordan. I mean, look at, look at our lineup. We have, at this point, 499s because Larry Bird is leveled up for some reason at the age of 99. He's leveled up. Like, how do we lose 17 games? I don't know. But the Lakers have been dominant, too. We've lost more games this playoff run than they have. They've only lost one game, and that was to the Clippers. You know, so this, this team has been really, really good. Game one is a 76 a win, though, and it's a big one. We love that. Game number two. Oh, okay. Oh, they, that was easy. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. We're not about to blow a 3-0 lead, are we? Not with the 10 greatest players of all time. That's not happening on my channel, is it? It ain't. Okay. Whew. Hey, I would have never heard the end of that one. I would have never heard the end of that one. If we lost with the 10 greatest players of all time, um, we did lose. The video I just filmed before this, I was the Lakers. So I'm, I'm, my, oh my God. Oh my God, we suck. We just had the 10 greatest players in history and we lost to Paul Rizzi, Rizzi, Paul Rizzi, Paul Rizzi, Rizzi in. Rizzi in, like what? I can, I, <laughs> that is crazy. That's insane. Y'all should all be ashamed of y'all self. How many rings do we have in it? That's six. That's, I don't know how many Korean guys, y'all. That was way before my time. That's six, six. And then we got four. That's, um, that's 16 rings. Plus the one from Kate. 17 rings. Plus three, right? Yeah, 17. 20 rings. 21. 26. 28. Kobe had five. That's uh, 30, 33. 33. 33 plus 4 is uh, 37. Tony Parker didn't get pity, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to add to the list. 30, 41. We have 41 championship. It's 42 <laughs> because of Kuzma. 42 championships, championship rings in our locker room. And we just lost in a game seven to a fa fa fairly inferior team. Julius Irvin got two. Um, we know Ka Kawhi got three. Penny never got one. Oh, I'm sorry. He did and this year. I'm stupid. All right, I'm out of here, bro. I cannot believe we just lost that game.